What's the first thing you look for when buying a garment? Probably style, right? And second, price I imagine? Third, colour? At what point does what it's made of come into it? Maybe not until the washing machine. And maybe not even then, am I right? The thing is, where a fibre comes from defines its properties. So today at Wear Green Clique, we're going before the garment, before the yarn, to the fibre. And look at how small they are. What impact could that possibly have on you? Let's burn them and find out! There are three groups for fibres, natural, regenerated and synthetic. Natural fibres are renewable and biodegradable and they often retain the properties of their origin. If that was an animal, it was a protein fibre. This includes leather and wool, but also silk. Alright, first a disclaimer, I'm doing this at home so you don't have to. And please don't do it at home because you'll probably hurt yourself like I did. Yeah. Here we're looking at leather and this is basically like a piece of steak. It's going to shrink with heat but it doesn't want to burn. And now we're burning wool. It again doesn't really like the flame. Once it does catch flame it extinguishes itself. And once it's burnt, we're left with some really charred remains. You'll see it shrunk, as I said, like a piece of meat. The piece of meat that you start out with on the pan ends up being a lot smaller, doesn't it? It's the same with wool, it's the same with leather, because it came from an animal. Pretty crazy, right? So I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't the burn that I was expecting. <sighs> I guess it just got too hot. Let's do it slightly more controlled. It's kind of behaving slightly different to the other two. It sort of bubbles up, but you'll notice that these bubbles are really like soft. They're really ashy. And you'll notice that it's self extinguishing, like the wool and the leather. If the origin's a plant, then this is a cellulose fiber. And this includes cotton, linen, and hemp. Cellulose fibers all pretty much burn the same. So what we're gonna look at first is this piece of cotton single jersey, which is a knit fabric. And then we're looking at this piece of cotton denim, which is a woven fabric. Cotton is essentially grass. It's dry and it will just keep burning. You can still pick up little textures and things that are in it. Now, just like with that other cotton sample that we had before, you can still see the weave in the ash. Regenerated fibers are a hybrid of cellulose and synthetic elements, so they do still biodegrade, but not all regenerated fibers are created sustainably. Between the deforestation and the chemical handling, there's a lot of opportunity for harm. But there's also a lot of opportunity for eco-innovation that we've seen with Tencel 
and Eco Vera Viscous. Note that bamboo's not on that list. Fairly similarly to the last two, the cotton and the denim, both cotton, um, and that's because visc- ah! <clears throat> Viscous's base is cellulose, like cotton, except it comes from things like trees and bamboo. Their fibres are too short to be able to wrap around themselves to create a yarn. So that's why there's the chemical inputs. So that brings us to synthetic fibers, the most common of which, in fact, the most common fiber in the world being polyester. And when you include its friends like acrylic and nylon, this group makes up two thirds of global fiber production. The problem is, it's just plastic. It doesn't biodegrade, it doesn't breathe, it doesn't take moisture away from your body. So if you've ever felt really hot and sweaty, like you're trapped in a plastic bag after a day, you might be wearing too much polyester. So we've got acrylic and polyester. Synthetic burn properties can vary quite a lot. So the reason why this is flaming is because acrylic burns burns and once it's done it hardens and polyester also hardens but it's not really in polyester's nature to burn it's more inclined to melt so you do have to try quite hard to break acrylic because all of that plastic is just melted in together So polyester will shy away from the flame. My fingers are burnt. And this is why you don't do this at home, kids. Polyester is really basically just a plastic bag. So you'll notice that it's just kind of molten. And this is why kids' pajamas come with a fire safety warning. Because just settle on your skin and give you a really nice deep burn. <laughs> <laughs>